Hey guys, I'm in here. Um, today I'm going to be doing something a bit different. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on the AW338 Airsoft Sniper Rifle. Um, well, start from the back and work right up to the front. Um, in the back you have these little stock things. You can unscrew them from the back there and then take these out to make it shorter or whatever. Um, next thing we have a sling mount. Uh, we have that on both sides. I have made like a sling because I don't want to buy one. They're just a rip off. I'll show you that a bit. Um, they are the um, cheek rest. What are we in? Uh, you can adjust that so if you unscrew these and you can just adjust this up it's alright for me there um, this has a foldable stock um, it's pretty sturdy it's just the sling mount gets in the way of it sometimes so just close it like that sometimes it clicks on and that it's nice and compact. So I'm right. just uh, unclip it. And next thing we've got the bolt action with safety. Uh, white is safe, and then red's danger, ready to fire. Then you can fire simply just pull, pull. For any of you that don't really do airsoft, this is alright. So you just simply pull it up and then pull out. It's quite a heavy spring so I can't do it with one hand. Um, but I'll load it. I'll try to hold it with my arm. Sorry about this. Like that. That's loaded. You just simply push it all the way back in, like that, and close it. Now it's loaded. Just stick that on safety, just to make sure. Um, I got the whole gun for 170, 179, so 180 quid altogether. Uh, the scope did not come with it. Um, I bought that for an extra 20 pounds, so altogether it's 200 pound. Um, right, we have. The mag, magazine slot and mag. The magazine is very big. It can hold up to, it can hold 50, 58, 58 rounds, which is a lot for a sniper. So that'll last you a game easily. Um, underneath, we have, if you want to take the barrel off, uh, you have a screw going through the trigger guard. And then you have another screw here. I'm not going to take it apart because it's a pain in the ass to do it. Um, I'm not too sure what this is for. I think it might be for a bipod. You slip it in there and then it clamps on. But then we've got another bipod thing here. It's just like a little button release thing. Um, the We've got a hop up adjustable system so that's the hop up use the little allen key and turn it in there and twist it um, now at the end of the barrel stand up Ooh. now at the end of the barrel you have a little end that you can screw off uh, come on it takes a while Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not going to screw it back on. I'm just going to leave it off. Oh. Yeah, that. There we go. Right, and that's... You can... I don't know if you can see in there. It close light. You can screw a suppressor in there. If you wish. I don't see the point in suppressors. It's silent anyway. I'm going to get a bit more... 
thingy on it. But oh well. Um I tend to use point three O's with my sniper. Uh, a bit heavier, a bit more accuracy is what you need with a sniper. Um it doesn't say oh yeah I got this from JD Airsoft, if any of you are wondering. It's a very good shop. Apart from the paint, um the paint they use isn't that great. It peels. As you can see, I'll just show you. It just scratches off, uh, which isn't that great um, when you're lying down with the gun. I'm going to buy a bipod eventually. Um, I don't know. Um, should I show you about other sporty things? I'll show you some other sporty things that I do. <laughs> Right, I play tennis. I've got play golf. Oh, play guitar. Uh, got a big stunt kite thing, and I play snooker slash pool. Some on the off chance. Um. Um. I might not be making a video for quite a while because we might be moving around, setting up everything. And do things like that. So you may not have a video for a couple of days. It just depends on whether we move it, we're moving or not. Uh, we don't know if we are yet. So I will be doing some recording or whatever. Um, and that'll be later on, well, in a few months. I'll be doing recording and then I'll start doing the gaming and that's pretty much it for today this is the been quite a long video but I've had nothing else to film if you just want to hear about Terry a bit more just leave it in the description if you want a bit more info on him if you want any more info on Airsoft I can give you that just comment below and just love for you to subscribe. Uh, you'll be getting a lot more interesting videos during the next year or so. So yeah, bye.